Social Justice Week was um, a collaboration from several clubs in the school that um, each club represents a different aspect of social justice and we all collaborated on, on having having more visibility in the school and, and talking about these issues because they, they come up all the time in students' lives, people's lives, and this was a, a way to showcase the issues and um, yeah, also just start a dialogue in the building. You know, it's Northampton, like everybody seems to think like, oh, it's really liberal here. It's like really, like we're, we're so accepting and then like ignore like what's right in front of their face. So uh, when I came here, I, I sort of just got angry. I just became an angrier person. It's a predominantly white school and I would say it's predominantly middle and upper class. Um, we certainly have some low income kids, but it's not the majority. And I think for me, it's really clear cut to see what these kids have. And when you don't live that life, you know, it's harder for them to see. And so a lot of times that leads to judgments. When we do just a week, kids treat it as like, a, oh, we learned about that. And it's not in the front of their face every day, but the environment doesn't go away and race doesn't go away and gender doesn't go away. And those kids have to deal with it every day. I think when you talk about social justice, I think the focus is on character. What type of people um, are we creating? How can we be more understanding, more empathetic, walk in someone else's shoes? Um, so, I, and I definitely think you can have classes that teach both content and character. So when you would start incorporating it into your instruction, kids then have to start thinking about it and it becomes then a much more ingrained kind of association of like, oh wait, before I do this I maybe should ask someone what pronoun they use. Or before I go check my water bottle I should think about where it's going and maybe doing something different. Um, so I think the more that we can talk about it, the, the better the school's going to be for everybody. It was um, a chance for me to remind people of my own pronouns. And so when I sent out an email telling everybody, you know, this is what's coming up in Social Justice Week, and by the way, in case you didn't know or don't remember. You know, so it, gives, uh, it gave me a chance to say it again and keep putting it out there because I think it needs to keep being put out there. It really validates you because we don't fit in these, these boxes that are, you know, it's, it wasn't easy when I was young. I mean, we had a lot of racial issues in the 70s and I know there are now. But I remember walkouts and, and protests and things in school, and no one really had a clear idea what, what it was that was causing all this unrest. And I think had there been something that was unifying in the school, had the administration and the teachers then said, why don't we build a community in here, you know, then I think we would have had fewer issues based on those things. I think the more persistent we are, the more people will actually carry here. I've noticed a lot of people who went from like being really racist and, and making jokes to like like talking to me like I'm like a really respectable person and like actually like caring to hear about the things that I've been through and struggles and stuff like that. So like it's it's obvious change and people are changing and I'm noticing that. And a lot of people though they may not care uh, at first they will eventually start to like realize like, oh, I guess this might actually be a problem. Oh, this really is a problem. Or maybe I should like shut up and actually listen to these people. I think what they're gonna find is that they were exposed to a lot of things and given the opportunity to see the truth behind these things before they go out into the world and, and they're out of the bubble of say Northampton and they're, they're meeting up with people who haven't had this exposure. And then suddenly it's like, wow, you know, I, I didn't know. Because I've had kids come back and say, it's a very different world out there than in Northampton. And it is. The collective voice of all the groups have been heard. We've all, we all sort of worked together on this. So I don't feel like my personal story really even mattered anymore. Like, I've, I've told my personal story enough, you know. So I feel like now other people get this chance. And we've all worked together to sort of have this fall of things, experience. And the fact that we have these experiences now is like, uh, and we're able to share them with other people, our own personal experience becomes like just a step to raising it up. So everybody's a step, and though we may not individually be heard, we all have worked together with our individual stories to reach one ultimate goal. And what do you think that goal is? Uh, well, acceptance amongst all races, all 
sexes, all genders, and all classes, just equality amongst people.